Community day, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all that real, man. It's it's not it's not looking too good though when it comes to that gameplay. You know the my court out there, all that, man. Y'all wanna see um any NBA 2K25 leaks, man? Join the Discord. It will be posted in the Discord. Okay, link is in the description. A lot of creators talking about the gameplay. A lot of deleted tweets. I'm gonna give y'all all my thoughts about the dribbling for what I'm hearing. A lot of people leaking the best builds, the meta builds that come out. Got people out there selling their soul. 2K dev talk. Okay, got some. Pictures pictures of the of the builder and all this and that and a lot more things this is definitely a video you are not going to want to miss before we get into any of that y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new we're going to keep you up to date with all the 2k25 news best jump shots builds dribble moves most hilarious play content and hit the like button nobody will know get this video to 800 likes you know don't be a hater now firstly before i get into my thoughts i want to touch on this right so laker fan blocked him right i'm like why did he block me <laughs> so, you know then i'm scrolling through my messages my discord and people are putting some tweets that he tweeted out right as you see in this tweet right here i don't know why he would block me i wonder if he if he blocked everyone else i don't i have no idea why he blocked me don't tell me you joined the uh the skittle guzzling community i don't i don't understand Damn, why you, what did you block me for what the hell so he said he got 18 bills god damn someone gets scrapped now look then he says gameplay i'm a little worried about the dribbling to be completely honest now look y'all don't know laker fan i know him a little bit you know but he is a hall of fame 2k defender when it comes to defending the gameplay okay so for him to say he's worried about the dribbling we're gonna we're gonna show you more people later on it's looking like this game is cooked. it's looking like the game is competing for um top four worst 2ks man when it comes to the gameplay that's it is that's very discouraging it's, it's very depressing man but damn laker what you have to block me for i remember you telling me how i was such a great inspiration and how legendary i was hella years ago i'm i'm confused but i guess that's why he blocked me i mean i don't know you could have dm me and say hey don't cover it or something <laughs> I'm confused. Now, I've talked to people about the gameplay, guys, okay? Before we go over the rest of this 2K25 information, people are telling me they were there for hours and they could not figure out how to speed boost. Several people are telling me this. I don't know if they're trolling. I don't know if they're like, I don't know if this is like some, everyone's coming together to come back and tell people and then to troll everybody. I don't know, but cause it doesn't even make sense. You can't speed boost no more, what? Like think about it, that's a realistic thing. Why would they remove it now? Right? Right? But pe people aren't stupid. People who know how to dribble, okay? Not know, you know, they know how to dribble, right? They tried the 24 way when you, you know, you have to wait and then, then you go, you know, which was like 2K22 sauce, right? To not be bumped as much, but now it, it was the 24 main speed boosted, right? They're saying they couldn't figure out how to speed boost. They was using Kyrie. Kyrie got Hall of Fame, uh, lightning launch, whatever the badge is. <laughs> leak, 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 leak. If they not lying to me. And they had high ball handling and they couldn't figure out how to speed boost okay now look if they just didn't take it out of play now maybe it's different for the online mode who knows bro but that is a that sounded horrible now look i know i know y'all uh y'all sim nation or y'all uh sick old head npcs negative one percent y'all are rejoicing no you gotta adapt skill gap then y'all gonna act like y'all love the game just because the skilled players somewhat dislike it and don't like the direction they're going in, right? What y'all gotta understand from my standpoint, bro, especially me, when they took out speed boosting in 2K16, I was still the greatest. A lot of the clips y'all see, that was when I was playing on patch six. I could dominate with or without speed boosting, bro. It does not matter. But it reduces the skill gap dramatically in the game. Less fun, bro, overall. You know, they was just telling me there's just like quick crossovers, but people don't believe that that's going to be enough to um get open, man. I don't know. I don't know if this is true or if it's just, I don't know. Y'all let me know. So, so someone broke the NDA. If y'all don't know, man, the my court is out there. A lot of things are out there, right? Um, luck seems to, um, they will find you out. <laughs> all caps hey luck try to go to community day you know he been apologizing on twitter it's very funny uh seeing uh creators trying to go to community day and being mad that they roasted and told the truth about the game and they want to go out there hey man 2k he defended y'all get the boy out there man he deserves it 470k he's telling you hey he's literally telling you hey i apologize i'm sorry send him out there yo why y'all got him going through it bro leaking your footage gotta be the dumbest thing you could do stop they not gonna fight you or dumb <laughs>
It's not about being invited. NDA. Oh, they not going to sue them, man. They, it, what would 2K look like suing somebody? Tons of damages. 2K is not suing nobody. It, it, that's not going to happen. You're just not going to go out there no more. But uh, yeah, y'all don't know what they. That, I'm telling you, join the cord. It, also, if you need people to play with for 2K25, join the cord. That's what it's there for. Play games with, talk, talk to me, and you know the 2K25 leaks, bro. Now look, Joey, keep it real. I do have some concerns. Real upcoming tuber, he gonna blow up, right? He know how to dribble. He know how to play. Shout out to Joey for having some integrity, man. He's saying the gameplay is completely different. So anyone saying it's the same, it's cap. He's probably saying this because he couldn't figure out how to speed boost, okay? Y'all gonna see that later on. Think about it, guys. Y'all know how easy it is to speed boost, right? Hey, but he said, 2K to invite somebody that don't even know how to test the game, don't even know how to dribble. But look, he says, don't worry. You're going to get your hands on the game soon enough and see what I'm talking about. Okay, y'all remember in 24, people didn't really know how to speed boost because they're trying to uh, find a way to nerf the talented, which actually works in reverse. It's anyone that's decent is still going to know how to speed boost. But the NPCs, they're not going to have access to that. So yeah, man, it's a different way. Maybe you got to, I don't know, but they was there for hours, couldn't figure it out who knows maybe they maybe they have it to where you have to have a certain speed boost level like you have to have red to speed boost i don't know man y'all let me know how all this sounds to y'all then look he says allow me to clarify i spent pretty much the entire event in the builder so i had no time to learn the dribble mechanics it's crazy how 2k don't be listening bro you know it's it's widely known the uh, most favorite 2Ks for dribbling, and they still won't listen. They know the dribbling. Most of the community loves and wants, and it was more realistic, and they still not listening. That's wild. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Hey, my team rep is going to be earnable in offline modes also. Y'all let me know if that's a W to y'all. Now, look, they saying sniping cards is allowed, but nobody knows. Some of my team cats are saying everything being a positive, but they don't really know how it's really going to come out for uh, 2K25. They only going to be targeting things that go negatively against the health of the mode. Lower than their value is not detrimental and is a great positive for having the auction house back. Who knows? Now, they've been getting a lot of negative feedback. Let me know if y'all think they're going to, you know, get their act right be 100 about it. so lily tweeted out everyone else is talking about the guards six nine bigs are back though okay. not an actual center a power forward small forward as three for city and park so she, maybe she's saying you know the six nine centers are going to be the meta again for the park slay with steez stage guy so you know you might know some stuff six two pgs looking like the wave that's some indication if y'all want to you know but guys please if you're not a meta player and you don't know how to you know get wiggly and score at the three like go for threes and and get wiggly stop making little guards bro know yourself or learn the learn the motion young keezy you went out to 2k community day 2k pre-orders after today up after talking with ronnie 2k i decided this is the best 2k i've ever played on my soul now of course everyone's saying he playing around all this and that right i'm gonna show you all the video too right let's go to the video this, junk, this is the greatest 2k i've ever played go pre-order this junk right now bro on my life y'all need this right of course everyone's saying he joking around he doing the trade rigs he already know that everybody gonna promote it and react to it all this and that but to put things on your soul and life man that's kind of crazy bro people that be like green on god and all this and that man y'all little y'all spiritual somewhat that's kind of crazy man but also it's not even just a joke he is securing his future with heading out there for a 2k community day man other creators might start to you know follow suit it's a sickness man <laughs> this is definitely the way y'all want to go to community day <laughs> that's what y'all gotta do talking about agility is an acceleration and now acceleration is with speed with ball and the ball handle that's for all the speed boosting you don't know for speed boosting now now look y'all gotta understand he's making this tweet after people are talking negatively about the dribbling and all this and that so maybe he's trying to say that they didn't have the stats to speed boost in a way who knows but i'm hearing people was using trey young Kyrie, and steph curry and they couldn't figure out how to speed boost i don't know mike wing you you gotta retire tired dog I, I i ain't gonna hold you bro it's getting ridiculous somebody gotta get mike wang up out of here dog and that gameplay team because this is a joke bro <laughs>
I know y'all want to change it up every year, all this and that, but th there's other ways to change it up, man. Listen to your community, dog. Stop trying to make stuff that you want, that y'all think people want, not your community wants, okay? This is crazy, bro. <laughs> now, agility's like for off-ball, lateral, all that different type of stuff, right? And he also says that strength is important for a dribbler as well if you want to win physical body-up interactions. Now, look, do not fall for it. Do not make no 6'3 John Morant with 99 strength. Guys, stop. Okay? We don't know if there is a badge that helps you win body up interactions like the blow by that was for speed in 2K25. We don't really know like that, you know, so we don't know if the speed helps us get the blow by. So just just be careful. Make your builds safe and all that. Let people test out the strength. Of course, when you make a crazy strength, you're going to be able to run. But is that necessary at the meta level? Just because you could just run through a bot and all this and that. Is it necessary to go that high if you could just get right past them and then have extra attributes everywhere else just pay attention be safe with the build you make right especially in the beginning now look we got a screenshot we got the builder we got a little got the builder got a build right here what is it what's this looking like someone zoom in figure out the build got some builds right here this is looking you know it's looking all all, all around somewhat looking like they're making some all around stuff the season pass level skips they're all back pro pass hall of fame pass listen guys please okay don't buy this at all 2k25 i don't care your excuse just think use your use your head use your head when you bought it in 24 do you regret it now did it really help you even like oh i have a job i'm just gonna buy all the way to level 40 to get that did it really help you think about it did it don't buy the passes don't buy the level skips just play normally bro enjoy yourself it ain't gonna help you dog and then if y'all keep buying it they're gonna put more pay to win features it's going to ruin your gaming experience, not for only 2K, but other games because they're going to see how successful it is. Don't buy it. Don't do it. It's not going to help you. unless you like a content creator, all this and that. But if you just normal, don't do it, guys. Builds are already $100, okay? They're going to make things more expensive. Y'all got to remember, in 14, I think that's when VC came out. Or maybe it might have been 13 or something. I, I don't know. But, you know, it started started low. I like the price to get, like, you know, with the VC, and then it started low, and it keep building. This is the beginning. It's going to keep building and building. I'm trying to tell you. Tack. Now, look, Germ tweeted out some real life gems that uh, NBA Live had that 2K should have. They should definitely have some stuff like this. They can call it completely different things. Y'all let me know if that would be a, a W to you. Hey, people are saying that early access, say you pre-order the game, it's a worldwide release. I think NZ only gets like an hour early. That's what people are saying. So it's not going to be like the previous years. So uh, yeah, I recommend for you guys not to pre-order the game and to just let everyone make mistakes, messing up their builds, and then just get it on the six when it come out and don't pre-order. Unless you're a content creator, Um, I think y'all should just wait. And when the game come out, just buy it, you know? And also you make them work for your pre-order, just like we did this year year you know they people wasn't pre-ordering then they added that early access you know make them work for your pre-order they see them numbers it affects the company the stocks all that everybody was hyping up uh kd at community day so maybe bills like kd could be op i doubt it <laughs> the anomaly and that would make the game chaotic and broken as hell for y'all play now cats and my team cats that could mean his sigs and his jump shot is cash so look koza says this he's a dribbler by the way i don't know what i can say right now but I'm gonna let you know this, 99% of people here are rattled about speed boosting and dribbling, okay? Just like I told you in the beginning of the video, not capping. But he's saying, y'all gonna think I'm a wizard when the embargo lifts. Now look, I know y'all thinking, oh, we just have to figure it out, all this and all that. Even if he has some new creative way to do this or that, or he figured out something that other people didn't figure out, y'all gotta understand, everyone else that went there, they've been playing 2K for a hell of a year. Dribble guides, all this and that. For, for things to not be like somewhat that's a red flag right for like everyone like for the enjoyment of the game looking shaky dog unless people are just lying to me bro <laughs> i don't know man now look young juice man tweeted out the lockdowns on 2k25 op as fuck them 6-6 six, six builds are packed up y'all know they was the meta they got like the most attributes and everything so it's gonna be a different height then he says they not the same still good just not the meta anymore 
Okay, so maybe it's a 6'5, six, 6'4. Six, no, who knows? Horrible 2K dev, the scissor, gives us some information on dribbling. It feels dynamic because of the animation. As you move around, the floor are dynamically generated and contextual. From the ground up was not cap. It's literally what happened. But most are only considering the right stick. Now it's both. You have to play it to understand, but it's smooth. <laughs> so maybe to speed boost, you just gotta just left stick and then R2 or something. I don't know, bro. I remember in 19, you could really, you could get wiggly with the left stick. It was a very Dexy game and all this, but maybe like just flicking your left stick could be some type of automatic dribbles and all this and that. Who knows? I don't know. This kind of seems like they're trying to make it more casual, friendly, and accessible. Like they always say, seems more of like an automatic dribble, but he's saying like, get open from the left stick. That's kind of crazy. How you get open from the left stick? There, there has to be some type of dribble in it, you know? And then like, if the left, think, think about it, think about it, think about it. If if the walk back they hate the walk back if that's not gonna be in the game like that how can the left stick really be op there gotta be some type of dribbling on you know see some moves simply by moving around the floor interesting that's where the smoothness comes from hey, hey if they talk that fluid and smoothness it's cap okay y'all better get people to start uh going in depth some people will only need to move with the left stick to get open some will use both hard to describe isn't doesn't that sound crazy some will use both me personally i like the walk back it was fun Funny, bro. <laughs> I know a lot of people hated it. It didn't really happen to me because I'm like smart, right? But it was just so funny when it happened, bro. Like, like it's it, it like made me die laughing every time because it's just it's so funny and the man. defender is just so bad, bro. It's so funny, man. Y'all let me know if y'all like to walk back or not. I know most people didn't like R1 passing still in the game. Now look, time work posted a clip. Hall of Fame AI Wimby. He's saying this some stuff that uh I would do. Look, pay attention. Be having me fighting for my life. Ha ha ha. AI cooked me. Got some more in 25. So he probably gave the AI some crazy offensive sauce. I'm telling you, if an AI fries me and drop like spray me, I might crash out. <laughs> I might crash out. That would be hilarious. But uh I might, you know, <laughs> that would be hilarious, man. This guy's saying, this, this, this is what I've been saying, bro, right? High rank PNO unplayable, that play now online unplayable due to off ballers, okay? This, this is what I say, bro. When I play rec, I've never played this year, random rec, I've never played with anyone that can score on the AI. Like legit, no, they can't score on them off the dribble. That means they're too OP, right? It doesn't make sense. When you play with a team, of course, you can have the space and do all this and that. I'm saying off the dribble, people can't score on them. That doesn't make sense. Someone quits and then that person who's who has the AI now on him, now he's punished for making his matchup quit. It doesn't make sense. You play player control. No one can score on the AI. That does not make sense, guys. People got to use their head. If in Call of Duty, when someone quit, they started bringing in AIs that were better than 70 percent of the user base they would riot people be too envious of people because of clips and some experience when someone exploited the ai but guys you, you gotta gotta be for real but look he's saying he implying it's never been this been this hard to beat off ballers right he really did buff the off ball like if you play 2k from like its original state as he's saying ai defense is insanely op in 24 compared to other 2ks okay now look He's saying, should be better this year. Let me know if it's still too difficult for you. So he's saying the AI is nerd, which is a W, okay? I care about overall how people experience and enjoy the game, right? I want the community overall to be happy. I'm playing with people. They can't score on the AI. I'm not stupid. It's going to drive people away from the game. People quit all the time. You got to play these AIs. You got young grinding. He got that, uh, oh, air ball. God damn, grinding. Damn. So look, I tweeted this. LD2K just responded while I was recording this, right? Very funny tweet. Y'all go follow. He's saying affiliations promote games. Take it out the game. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with that. Now look, uh, LD say, okay, go elite. Click, 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 click. Do y'all think Elite uh is coming back? Or maybe there's extra affiliations, or y'all think it's still gonna be Rise and Elite, or y'all let me know. Talk to me. Now Stax tweets this out. I wonder who he's talking about, man. Wish everyone much happiness, success, and most importantly, fun on the game this year. LOL. Who's he talking to? Can someone put me like let me know? At the end of the day, you create the reality you want. Dot dot. Laughing emojis. Who's he talking about? I'll be sneak dissing people. I'll be like, I wanna know the drama. <laughs> I'm trying to laugh. Now, Renee tweets out my court fire, graphics fire, builder fire, my team fire, play now, da, 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 da. sizes and positions fire. She ain't say nothing about gameplay. That could be a red flag. Oh, oh, 
damn, I forgot to tell y'all. They telling me, right, the people I talked to, that they couldn't tell no difference with the uh player model and size of the court stuff. They say it just looked normal, you know? They telling me they couldn't really tell. And when y'all get the game, y'all gonna see that they was capping or whatever. Who knows? Maybe it could have been the mold, whatever. Who knows? We got young Pika trying to dunk, okay? God, could have broke her leg. Hey, can y'all do that? Y'all let me know down below if y'all could dunk on eight foot, man. Shorter, you know? So, like, I'm gonna dunk on eight feet right now. Mama tweets out, the lighting and graphics is fire. Young Pika tweets out, y'all can hate on 2K all you want. But the places this game has taken me is something I never thought possible. Forever grateful for everyone that supports me and believes in me. Now look, with Pika, it's understandable with the 2K community stuff and all the affiliations and all that. But there is one thing I hate when uh people say, they someone will say, you should be grateful for 2K. To me, 2K ain't edited one of my videos. They ain't made none of my thumbnails. They ain't streamed for me. They ain't done nothing for me ever. They have never done anything for me. So if 2K has literally never done anything for you, I am a consumer. I cover their game. I spend my time and effort. They they do not pay me in no way. They've done nothing. They like, I cover the game. If anything, I'm doing them a favor, but they've done nothing. They go make billions of all this and that. Like people gotta understand what grateful means. Like you're grateful to your parents. I'm a consumer. Why would I be grateful to a video game, bro? That, be seeing uh creators blow up and all this and that and it's like bro 2k hasn't helped you like do that like never went to community day and they just say i'm thankful like but you did that you should be thankful for youtube for existing you getting that revenue and all this and that but not not a video people gotta chill like you can't criticize a game you bought paid for that you want to be better so you can have more fun doesn't make any sense <laughs> you just gotta be grateful and just shut your mouth just oh all the things they're doing so amazing shut your mouth be quiet like be grateful i don't know man new commentator in nba 2k25 now look we got the top 20 20 through 11 ja morant 90 damn for ja Wimbiana, ah 91 that's crazy bro Kawhi 92 i don't think Kawhi should be at the same level as Kyrie. Kawhi be injured bro mitch brown mitchell mm. Mm, these is kind of uh, no bruh y'all let me know what ratings y'all think everybody deserves now look now look i ain't seen no one else tweet this it could be troll he's saying that jamal murray behind the back is completely gone that was my favorite cheese in the game oh i don't know why no one else tweeted this y'all let me know y'all think it's cap or not y'all know ej be trolling now look it's saying five nine could potentially be the meta and i swear to god i'm not trolling you'll see when the embargo lifts man he knows something i don't know who knows five nine is the new smallest height now, Koza's going directly against this. They're definitely pushing for us to more diversify lineups in terms of height. Small guards looking really good. No, I'm not making no 5'9", okay? Taller builds look pretty good. At the end of the day, animations make or break the final decision. Some diverse lineups and good balls. 6'5", looking like my place, though. Okay. Y'all click on the video on the screen if you want to hear more about the NBA 2K25 demo, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.